Aquarius, and welcome to Somewhere in Between, your 2024 reading from Planet Waves. I'm Eric Francis, your astrologer for the next hour or so. As of this moment, I have arrived at the end of the Somewhere in Between project. This is the 24th reading. I have saved Aquarius as the last of the video readings. Uh, I'm recording on Saturday the 20th. Uh, the sun has entered your sign. Uh, Pluto is about to enter your sign tonight, so we're in that interval between the sun's entry and Pluto's entry. Uh, Pluto is joining the sun in Aquarius. It's kind of cool that Pluto's entering Aquarius the same day the sun is, as if the sun is kind of warming up the territory in advance. Um, having done 24 of these readings, uh, I, I don't know how much I have to add. Uh, to, to this one that I haven't already said, um, but I I will um, I will do my best to uh, say something new and and to put things in a, in a context uh, that uh, that maybe I haven't done before. Um, Pl Pluto entering Aquarius is I think uh, going to represent a well well needed change. Uh, I was. Toying with the with the with the headline uh, last night, I forgot what it was, but something like, uh, you know, we 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 need Pluto and Aquarius uh, change whose time has come. It's like um, a you know presidential slogan for a presidential candidate. Uh, don't don't change horses, but we're actually are going to change horses with um, with with Pluto and Aquarius. So this is a very significant change for the world and for you, Plu uh, Aquarius is your reference sign, whether it's sun rising or moon. And uh, and, and so therefore, uh, Pluto is going to reach to the uh, heart of who you are and your idea of who you are and how you express yourself to, to the world. Um, and this is a whole new chapter in the life of our society and as i have uh, said many times our uh, uh you know western society really all of the civilized world is formed by the technology that it creates and most people don't think this is a very important thing for them to think about uh, except maybe if they have children and they're wondering what all this stuff is doing to their children, or except if uh, one is spiritually open and sensitive and wondering uh, what you, you know what all this insanity in the world is about and why we have uh, you know basically a new war every year and how a person with uh, something like 90 felony charges is. Um, going uh, to be the uh, GOP leader, presidential candidate, and possibly the next president of the United States. If we're wondering why this uh, insanity persists and how any of this is possible, we don't really need to look much further than the impact of the te technological environment on us. And by that, I want to be clear, I'm not talking about the content of any article or tweet or movie or song. I'm talking about the way that the entire in environment forms the ground of consciousness and then that produces effects and we see much of the ground formation of uh, of the technological environment especially that which is based on broadcasting and that which is based on digital in the sign aquarius and this of course is your personal sign or one of your personal signs and so uh, as in a couple of other cases particularly with aries your your personal sign be, is is also the one that is uh, the most influential in uh, the 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 balance of the world situation, and this puts you in the role of of a um, of a probe. Now, one thing, and I'll, I'm going to come back to that in a second. But one thing I've noticed about a lot of Aquarians is they they tend to be early adapters to technology. The idea of technology almost always sounds good uh, to someone with a strong Aquarius signature, and I realize there are going to be the squish your mud, squish the mud between your toes type of Aquarians, and the um, you know, uh, no, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't want my iPad. I, I think I just want to sit under a tree or something like that. But, but for the most part, uh, the the Aquarian mentality is be the first kid on the block to have the next great thing. And I'm here to ask you to be the first kid on the block 
to sense the changes that are coming under the influence of Pluto and Aquarius and to uh, do your part to have your sensitivity and your um, receptiveness to the technology environment. And I think I think plenty of the squish your mud, squish the mud between your toes Aquarians have this as well. They just would rather have the mud. Uh, but then, you know, go back to being a database programmer or whatever. Um, is, is that you're going to be on the forefront of the change in the world that comes with this in, incoming shock to the technological and the social environments. And that, that, that shock is going to be Pluto gradually working its way through Aquarius. Um, part of the nature of the shock is that Aquarius is a fixed sign. <clears throat> and one of the things Aquarius does in its fixity is it fixes patterns. It tends to crystallize, calcify, and establish patterns of all kinds. And those include um, social patterns. It includes patterns of technology. It includes all of the, I guess, all the patterns that Paul Simon was talking about in the song Patterns, uh, where he says, you know, uh, like a rat in a maze, the path before me lies. It's not such a pleasant second line. Um, we're not really rats in a maze, but what he's saying is that his life is made of patterns that can barely be controlled. But while patterns can't be controlled, they can be recognized. And they can be adapted to. And they can be considered honestly, rather than ignored, or, or rather than um, uh, noticed and then denied. And when we bring Aquarius into a personal context and, and we say the thing one is the, the main uh, property of, of Aquarius, the sign, the archetype Aquarius, not as a personal thing, but as a ger general thing, is to establish patterns. And that th that, that can represent the imposition of a false consensus on people because the the patterns that are largely formed by electrical technology are tribalizing people are driven out of their individuality and while aquarius is the sign of tribes the the the, the manageable group with a countable number of people unlike the total number of people in a football stadium that somehow that somehow comes under the, um, the purview of Pisces, by the way. You may think, oh, what would Pisces want to do in a football stadium? But the, uh, when, when the group is uncountable, uh, when it's essentially mass consciousness, that's more of a Pisces thing. With, with Aquarius, we have the, the formation of patterns, we have the formation of social patterns, and we have the interplay between technology and the social patterns, and then you are somehow a private, personal, individual representation of this, but also a point of interaction with the larger, uh, larger dynamic. This puts you in a special position. Um, and as someone for whom the Pluto transit's going to enter your first solar house or your, your, the house of your sign of your sun, um, you are a bellwether. You, you are a personal kind of uh, te testing and experimentation unit, <laughs> sorry for the technical term, uh, of this transit. You are embodiment of Pluto in Aquarius. And the problem with the environmental patterns that we see, including the social patterns that we see, is that, I don't mean see, 